for the uh, New Year celebration in China and in the Chinese communities throughout the world, and also in countries like Korea and and uh, Vietnam, for example, and as you mentioned in Thailand, where there are lots of ethnic Chinese communities over there. I think there are several things. One is definitely a uh, family reunion, and each individual need to travel back, whatever the distance, back to home, and join their families to observe traditions for seven days in a row, or even 15 days in a row. And in rural areas, it may be even up to one month. Uh, and each day will be marked with profound significance and meaning, symbolism, lots of food, for example, and traditions, etc. Now, on the second level, that is the communities, because when you talk about line dance, uh, etc., then they are performed by the villagers uh, together rather than purely by family members. So this is from individual to family to communities, and then large, uh, on a much larger scale, to civilizations. So you are talking about a hierarchical level of uh, cultures, meanings, traditions, etc. And by joining in the Spring Festival, you really live throughout these generations of traditions which lasted for thousands of years and which are expected to last for, you know, millenniums to come. And also the Chinese Spring Festival is unique in the sense that it is really observing the natural cycle mm -hmm. of events because this is not related to any one particular historical figure, for example. It is basically part of nature. It's the part of the natural cycle of events. So by observing Spring Festival, people or mankind are rejoined with nature again on a very prominent day in a very prominent season. So we are talking about the merging of humans with nature. 